But who cares if the neighbors here? It's a big night and we're partying in a big way. And they should all be singing along with us. Everyone should know that we're celebrating tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, <laughs> let's dig into the booze in the kitchen. And no point in stopping the party after leaving the bar, right? <laughs> and I already spent way too much time there. Time and money. So, I might as well keep it going at home, right? Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. Just pour me another one. <laughs> No, no. No, man, I can handle it. Come on. Either pour it out or hand it over. I'll be fine. Wait. You think I'm too drunk, don't. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not too drunk. I'm functional. I'm walking, aren't I? Nah, it's not just the fridge holding me up. It's it's just easy to lean on it. So so calm down, okay? Shh. You're almost as drunk as me, aren't you? I saw you putting away the drinks at the bar, so don't throw stones. Let's have a few more, huh? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah that's my fun loving roomie. It's been so long since I've seen you like this. It makes me really happy. It's about time you feel so carefree again. That's it. Fill it up. My glass. All to the top. Whew. No, no, I've got... Uh, I've got it. I'll just clean up that little spill later. Uh, this kitchen's floor has seen worse, hasn't it? Between you getting the stomach flu when we first moved into that whole, uh... Uh, using dish soap instead of detergent in the dishwasher disaster? That was totally not my fault. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, time for a toast. I don't care how many toasts we've made at the bar. You deserve even more than that. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, how about this? Promise this is the last one, okay? Uh, last one of the night. Just, 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 just you and me, okay? Ugh. Oh, here's to my fucking incredible roommate. Breaking records and climbing ladders until the office couldn't handle his brilliance anymore. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, I'm so glad you're out of that place now. Fucking manager is working you to death. Holding back on your promotions for so long, not paying you enough. Ah, bastards. I'm so fucking happy you applied for that other job. And hey, who was it who told you to start looking for other places, huh? That's right, <laughs> this guy. Oh, I couldn't stand watching you be stepped all over. Coming home in tears, you're so tired you couldn't do anything but collapse. That's not right. Yeah, I guess a lot of people have jobs like that, but doesn't mean you should have. What did I say? You're wasting yourself for a company that doesn't see your value. Psh. Fuck them. Fuck them to hell and back while you're working off for a place that's offering you your own office and better wages and all that. <sighs> they should have used you as an asset while they had the chance, but no siree, they're missing out big time. <clears throat> oh. Wait, 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 What? It's true! You know, you know what, you know what your problem is? Your problem is that you're too nice. That's right! I said it! Too nice for a place like that! Here you are, walking away from the job that made you miserable for the past few years. And yet you're still not letting me say fuck em. Too nice, man! Way too nice to not even give your old boss the middle finger when you turned in your resignation. I would have... You know I would have been doing it in my head almost every day since you started telling me about how shit he treated you. Least you could have done is do it for me. Huh? 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. I'll go sit down, but, but, I'm taking what's left of my drink with me. Oh, come on. You sit down too, silly, before you even spill more of that drink. Oh, God, you look amazing when you smile like that. No, 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 no. I, I mean it. Especially when you're all uh, dressed up like that. It's been forever since we've had a reason to go out with all of our friends and all. It must have been nice for you to put on something that wasn't boring office clothes, you know, but it doesn't mean I didn't find you hot in them. I mean, I think you look good in anything. Dress shirts, sweats, PJs, <laughs> whatever. But you look really good right now because you finally seem happy. I'm seriously so fucking happy for you. All I want to celebrate, I, I, I just want to celebrate all night. I love seeing you smiling and, and cheerful again after so long. This new job is really going to change your life, huh? Better paycheck, better work environment, uh, better apartment, probably. And I hope you find a roommate who will treat you well once you make the move. Damn. Oh, I wish I could have come with you. But I don't love you enough to move hundreds of miles away and leave my own job right now. Not when I've started making headway on my own career. I do love you enough to worry about who you'll be stuck living with without me there to look after you. <laughs> no, I know you can look after yourself. It's just, I guess I'm a little possessive. I mean, come on. We've known each other since we were practically toddlers. Of course, it's been easy and fun living together all this time. Who else could fit with you the same way? I just don't want you to get all the way out there having your dream job, dream office, and all that. And then have a shit roomie who keeps you up all night or never cleans up or something. Um, I would be much better. Hey, I always clean up my messes. Eventually. At least I do when I ask. Or, uh, at least I do when you ask me to. <laughs> well, what if your new roommate just ignores you and, and the place turns into a dump or something? Ugh. Well, what if they're a shithead who always says cruel things to you? Oh, no, I could never have that. Or what if they bring tons of friends over and have loud parties when you need to rest? I know, I know, it'll, it'll probably be fine, but I can't help worrying about it. At least you know what to expect with me, huh? Hmm, maybe you can find an apartment that, that's cheap enough not to need a roommate at all. Oh, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? No need to, oh, fuck. I'm so blasted. No one to bother you, just to see your own space. Oh, you'll still miss me either way? I'm gonna miss you too, man. I'm gonna miss you too, man. I'm gonna miss you too, hon. Come here. Give me a hug. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Don't be scared off. Just, just as much as I do. Ugh. Oh. Look, just come over here and hug me. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's going to be so different without you here. I can't imagine any other roomie who would be easier to live with. You've really spoiled me, man. You've really spoiled me, honey. Oh, you feel really nice. I'm, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, even if we really... Oh, even if we never really, um, cuddled before. Wish we had. You're nice to cuddle. S sorry, I didn't mean to say anything awkward, but... Since you're going to be so far away in such a short time, I should probably tell you this now. I wasn't just joking around earlier about... Loving you. 
I do. I love you so much. I wish I could just quit my job and follow you and worship you and love you and kiss you and hug you. And even if I can't, so so I take back what I said. I, I do love you enough to do that if I could. I've loved you since we were teenagers, really, but, but, but you were so... You were already dating somebody else. And then you were single, and, and we were living together, and uh, I, I just couldn't break the harmony we had in this little apartment, you know? Not when you said you were so done with relationships for a while, but, 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 but since you'll be leaving, I wanted you to know. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. What? What? You knew? How? <laughs> I guess. Maybe I wasn't as subtle as I thought. I hoped you'd think of some of the gestures were just friendly or uh, kind of overtly romantic. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. But how do you feel about that, babe? Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That makes sense, I guess. You've been too stressed with your job to be able to think about it. Fair enough. At least you don't hate me, I guess. But I get if you need to think about it some more. I mean, come on. One huge life change is enough for this year, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's sweet, honey. But don't promise me anything if you're not sure. Just take your time and think it over. I'm not going anywhere, honey. I'm not going anywhere, honey. I'm not going anywhere, man. And neither are my feelings. But don't you dare feel pressured to feel something you might not, huh? Just having you in my life in any way is enough for me. And I'll celebrate and cheer you on every step of the way.